Good morning, everybody. It's June the 14th, Friday morning. Oh my gosh. I can almost hear the echoes in the West Virginia hills from here as it seeps through the noise of the Jacksonville morning traffic that is always in the background just over that way. <laughs> I hope you're having a great morning. I know I am. I've got a cat winding around between my feet. It won't leave me alone. <laughs> You know, life goes on. Listen, I, I had an experience this morning on my way to the gym. I'm walking along, along this eight, eight lane highway that I walk along. And I notice, I look down on the sidewalk there and there's a syringe, a used syringe. Right there on the sidewalk, public sidewalk. And all I could think of was how deep into the darkness do you have to be to be shooting up on a public sidewalk? You know? And it also made me realize we have so much to be thankful for in our lives that Many times we get so caught up in the rat race and the accumulation of things and the meeting of schedules and, you know, getting children to and fro. And then things go wrong at work or we don't, you know, maybe there's a car accident. Maybe something unexpected happens in our lives and we get frustrated. We get ticked off. We get, uh, maybe you get depressed. And you start reaching for things to help you along. Maybe it's for some, it's a beer, or maybe a glass of wine, and maybe maybe, maybe a, a rum and coke or something, you know. Maybe it's uh, some other form of medicating to get you through the day. And for some people, they just have the addiction addiction gene, and and you just you can't you can't go that route. But my point is, no matter how bad things are, you've always got something to be thankful for. If you're on this side of the grass, you've got something to be thankful for. You've got life, blood's flowing through your heart, breath is going in and out of your lungs. You've got something to be thankful for. So for anybody who's so far down into the darkness that they're sticking needles in their arms to get high, you have so much to be thankful for and so much more awaits you if you could just get free of those poisons. And one way to get free of those poisons is to change the way you eat. Try eating meat, drinking water. Try going on a low carb diet. Do something. Do a 180 degree turn from what you're doing if you're mistreating yourself that way. Okay, I got some people I want you all to pray for. I got a friend in Austin his parents were in a bad accident. I'm not going to say his name or anything. His story's not my story to tell. But some of you will figure it out. You need to pray for him and his family. They're doing better. They're going to heal. They're going to recover. They're all going to be okay. But it's going to be a little bit of a struggle and it's going to be uncomfortable for a while. So let's keep them in our thoughts and our prayers, okay? And I want you people this weekend you folks that know you're susceptible to putting things in your mouth that you know you shouldn't. This weekend you're going to be stronger. You're going to be smarter. You're going to make the better choice. You're going to remember that sugar, carbs, and plants are not good for you. And that there's no amount of politeness worth suffering physically and mentally over. There just isn't. So you're going to be strong. If you're going to a family picnic this weekend, a family reunion, 
excuse me. Florida pollen season never really ends. Right there was just proof of it, that sneeze. Anyway, if you're going to a family outing, a family reunion, a class reunion, take your meat, you're with you. Nobody's gonna complain about it. And if they do, that's their problem, not yours. So remember that, you pip folks. We got reunion, you know, there's a lot of weddings in June. I realize that, and there's all that wedding cake. Oh, it would be rude if I didn't have some wedding cake. If you don't have any wedding cake, nobody's gonna care. Most people will never know unless you're silly enough to tell them. So listen, <laughs> be thankful this weekend. Look at the things around you that you have that are worth being thankful for your loved ones, your home. You have a home. Not everybody has a home. Think about that for a minute. There's so much that we have we could be thankful for. I want you to have a great weekend. I want you to eat your meat, drink your water, be honest with yourself always, and yes, be thankful. We'll see you guys Monday.